Next, let's discuss aquatic ecosystems. Texas ranks second in the United States for biodiversity in its rivers and streams. They're home to more than 250 species of fish, including about 25 non-native species. This great diversity of aquatic life reflects the great diversity of habitats found across Texas's landscape. With lots of rainfall in the east and north, East Texas streams have more diverse aquatic communities than streams in the arid West Texas. The most common stream fish in Texas are the minnows, darters, suckers, sunfish, bass, and catfish. More than 50 species of mussels inhabit Texas rivers. There are also thousands of other species of aquatic invertebrates found in Texas streams. Stream plants and animals have developed special adaptations for life in river and stream habitats. Plants living in moving waters have long, thin, flexible stems that offer little resistance to the current and strong root systems to hold the plants firmly in place. This is an aquatic plant. This is Texas wild rice. It's an endangered species. It's found in the San Marcos River system. Mussels burrow in the bottom sediments to avoid the current. Snails use a broad, flat foot to stick to rocks. River otters have an oily coat to keep them dry and warm. Fish, such as shiners, have streamlined bodies that allow them to rain, remain stable in currents. Catfish and many darter species are bottom dwellers with flattened heads and large pectoral fins angled to keep them on the bottom and stable in swift currents. Most darters don't even have swim bladders. This allows them to remain on the bottom of the stream. With all these adaptations, they can stay down low and feed, even in swift water. Aquatic ecosystems are amazing places.